even here for, anyhow? I think you and I both know. Tumblr sexy men fan content? Is that, is that the correct answer? Yes. Right? This is appealing to a, to a demographic. <laughs> you, you are here to fit a quota. Tumblr's gonna love you. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm in the mood for some chicken nuggets and also some lore. And when those things combine, it is chicken nugget lore day here on GT Live. So this is a theory, uh, th live theory crafting episode that was suggested from you guys. Um, over on the Game Theorist subreddit, I've been seeing a lot of recommendations for this series, Chicken Nugget. Uh, this one was by I Dream About Cheese, uh, but, but I've seen the requests coming from a lot of different people. I've seen a lot of people talking about it over on Twitter. Uh, Chicken Nugget. So this is an animated series that I've seen uh, fits and starts of on YouTube, uh, mostly in the form of shorts, uh, just little bits and pieces here and there, and I've always enjoyed them, but I never, because I like animated stuff. I look at a lot of different animated series to just stay on top of it, but I will say, I was not aware of any deeper lore. I was never really in search of any sort of deeper lore until uh, everyone started to bring it to my attention. And I think the reason why everyone started to bring it to my attention was because this, Chicken Nugget Lore Part 1. Uh, nothing says, hey, go call Matt Pat to cover your series, like adding the word lore and making it a multi-part series. And I think that's what triggered a lot of people to be like, oh my gosh, there's lore? in this series, like we gotta put MatPat on the case. And so that is where we are today, friends. Uh, you know, we've covered our fair share of like Mandela catalogs and back rooms and we're watching and we're theorizing and we're like, oh, I see, I see. This is us just hopping in and doing some like research across these first couple of full length episodes, right? The, the long form videos. Um, there are a lot of shorts and I mean a oh. lot of shorts. Oh. And oh. I mean, a lot <laughs> of shorts. A lot of shorts. We got wow. to the end, though. Um, so probably, we'll probably mix it up, right? Well, I'll, I'll watch like maybe one or two long videos. We'll stop one or two of, of the shorter guys. I don't know what is here. I'm just throwing it out there. This is me researching in real time alongside you guys because I haven't carved off time in my like day-to-day -day life to watch this. Um, but if we think that there's enough here and we think that this is like, hey, this is something that's, you know, there is lore here, there is something deeper here. Um, we can absolutely hop in and do more of it. I can do it off on my own. I'll, I'll make it my light nightly watch. What, what ends up happening, for those of you who don't know, is if there's a series that I, am either researching or I know I want to do a theory about or I think I want to do a theory about, I'll just start watching it at night. You know, it's it, it's like my, I like watching new shows anyway. I like watching new things. And so if there's, especially like on film theory, there's like a movie that I'm curious about or a series that I'm curious about, I'll, I'll like watch one or two episodes and I'm like, oh, is there something here? Let's go through or not. Um, and so that's how I finally got through Amphibia, which took me a while. And it's and it's the way that I, it's it's the way I've been able to like, accumulate over the years like a lot of data on whose line is it anyway, which won't be an episode that ever performs and probably might not end up being an episode. But the idea of like, if the points do matter in this improv comedy show where they say the points don't matter, if they did, who would actually be the winner, right? Stuff like that. Like that's the sort of things that I, I but those are such long-term episodes with so many, you know, installments that you have to research and so many details you have to track that it takes a long time to do them. So I tend to do it like slowly in the background on like nights and weekends when I'm like, oh, I need something to watch. Let me pull up something. So Chicken Nugget, will this be the new series that I'm watching at night? Uh, or is this just something that we're like, hey, this was fun, fun live reaction. Do you know this at all, Ash? No, but it's really cute. Right, I love the art style. Looks good. Thumbnails well. <laughs> you have a long neck dog, win. Okay, so let's win. start, since I'm here and I see a demon, and it's the, the first thing, right? It kind of sets the tone. So here we go. This one is dedicated to you. I dream about cheese. Chicken nugget lore. What do we got? Let's go. What 
What is your infernal command, mortal? Screechies. <laughs> this is a mood. I feel that. What is your Oh, and then it repeats. Great. Okay. Screechies. 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 <laughs> Not scritches. Scritchies. 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 Love it. Great. Win. Alre already, though. Lore. Already, though, Ash. Do you see the lore here? Uh, demonic um, summoning. Right. There is a bunny who has some level of control or is able to summon some form of demon. I love that. I love that bunny. for us. All right. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Who's the character? Chicken Nugget. All right. Getting familiar with everyone. Cheeseburger. Cheese. Otherwise known as Chee. Ice Cream. Again, demonstrating weird demon like qualities. I'm saying this ice cream bunny. Gender. None. <laughs> also, you'll notice that it said bunny question mark, question mark, question mark. Again. Bunny. See, lore. Slushy the fox. Dragon. Fwenchy Fly. Fwench Fly. Fwench Fly. Sody Pop. Red Panda. Nice. Okay, there we go. Chicken Nugget. Cheese Burger. See, this bunny. We gotta watch this bunny. Ice cream. Bunny. Question mark. Uh, I'm curious about this small man on an ice cream cone. Uh, who wants some ice cream? I want ice cream. Why'd you stop licking? Oh no! <laughs> See, that's the sort of behavior that's gonna get you canceled and put onto an online blog. <laughs> See, that's why you gotta keep your options open, Ash. You never know when one day you're looking at an ice cream cone and then the small creepy nude man is there staring <laughs> back at you wanting to lick his back. I mean, I feel like you don't even have to make an effort to open up your options. There are simply other options. <laughs> If, it, if a tiny ice cream man presents himself to you, you know. Yeah, stop licking. Do you do? You stop yeah, licking? You stop licking. Okay. I don't know, but then you're leaving Matthew, all that ice Matthew, you stop licking. <laughs> <laughs> I hate wasting food, though. And the cone is the best part. I, I didn't say stop chomping, but we stop licking. Okay, oh, I can chomp. At the bottom, you know. Ooh, but now you're introducing all sorts of chaos. I feel like this is gonna trigger everyone. If you chomp the bottom of the cone, you've opened up a floodgate of chaos. Well, here's the thing, then, you know, I mean, might... to be fair, the bottom of the cone is the best part where it all mixes together and it's kind of soft and chewy and like, but it's yeah. not, but it's still firm. Skip to the good part, and then you dispose of the cone with the creepy naked man. <laughs> and you could bring your licking elsewhere. Okay, I'll take my licking elsewhere. Yeah. Duly noted, Ash. I, yep. will, I will bring my licking to somewhere else. Yep. Let's watch some lore, shall we? Yeah, I Chick think that's fine. Yeah, chicken nugget lore. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do you ever feel like we're just... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's still left over on, like, three times speed. Here we go. Two times speed. Only two times. I must be, must be a casual... Must be a casual day here today. Yeah, you're kicking back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can only... I can watch this at the, at the rate it was intended to be watched? Pfft. Okay. Who blessed me with so much time? Do you ever feel like we're just... <laughs> Running out of time? What the heck? Lore. <laughs> He's transparent <laughs> in some way. The fact that you can see through his clock face. Important. <gasps> Sexy men. That's <laughs> the embodiment of time. Nice to make your okay. acquaintance, little animal friends. <laughs> Do not despair, for time is an infinite dance. So, so. Oh, he is a Tumblr sexy man. <laughs> Ash is like, I feel this. No, I, I, looking, I see this. I look at the like the the kind of like body of the character design, and I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. long, it's lanky, it's doing those kinds of poses. Yeah. I was I was gonna actually ask you. Okay, so what is what is the definite? I mean, maybe that's a film. Th maybe this is unlocking all the film theories right now. Oh God! Oh, oh God! What? Oh, no. I've I've unlocked something in Ash, and I'm very concerned. What it, I think I broke. I think I broke him. Please don't say what that there is a theory to be made of what defines a Tumblr sexy man. Please don't tell me or do, and just expect. <laughs> 
<laughs> there to be consequences. There might be a theory <laughs> as to the defining characteristics of a Tumblr sexy man. Explain this lore to me, Ash. Why would you be crying in the corner because of the Tumblr sexy man? <laughs> it's too much. It's just... There please, are some... please, please reveal your trauma unto us. Okay. I... You know, because I, I have so much to learn here. Clearly, clearly, I just look at it as like, oh, you say, oh, that's so clearly a Tumblr sexy man, you know, iconography, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting to me as an outside observer and who has heard this phrase in the. I've heard this, and I know that there's like even a competition of like, you know, there's a bracketed competition, a tournament of sexy men, as it were, right? And so for me, as the chaotic neutral that I am, who holds no allegiances, I'm like, oh. Who would be the most defined Tumblr sex, the, the sexy maniest of the sexy men, right? I would be curious about that. But clearly there are layers of emotional entanglements that I am not privy to in my, again, chaotic neutral state where I'm just a passive observer of a lot of things. So please let me know what consequences, what, what Pandora's box am I opening up when I inevitably do a film theory on who is the mo the sexiest of Tumblr sexy men? God. <laughs> Ash you, is still it, slowly dying in the corner, by the way. Just want to call this out. If you thought Sans's nest was bad, Tumblr sexy men definition will be an entirely different beast. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I am still waiting and, and very patiently and eager for just a little bit more context or just a little bit more clarity about what is happening in this corner of the room. I don't know. Maybe maybe everyone on the internet too who's watching this knows exactly what's going on. Imagine am, you're in my spot. I'm so confused. I want you to imagine, y'all, that you are in my chair. And MatPat Game Theory is on the couch <laughs> Matt asking Pat Game you Matt to define Game Theory <laughs> Pat. In the, that's my middle name. Game Theory Pat. Yeah. What What would you do? What, what What would you do? Because I don't know what I would do, and I'm the one that's here. Like, okay, what do you know about? Do you have examples of a Tumblr sexy man, right? Yeah, sure. Like, list off some of the ones that you know. Well, no, okay, now I'm now I'm nervous. I, I, <laughs> I I'm I'm nervous now. Well, I need to know where you are in your journey. Like, like I know that, like for instance, like the iconic Tumblr sexy man that I'm familiar with, right, is the Onceler. Right. Okay, right. Like good, he is he good. is in my mind the, you know, like when you talk Tumblr sexy man aesthetic, right, that yeah. is the one that pops to my mind, right, right. where he's kind of right. tall and lanky, he's kind of got that like hipstery vibes, a little bit musical, a little bit artsy. You know, yeah. youngish, but like obviously a consenting adult kind of thing. You know, right, all that yeah. stuff, right? I think that is a safe level of knowledge for you to have right now. I, I don't know if I can take responsibility for this, Matt. In what way? Like, what is? What is? <laughs> again, you don't have to. Ex don't explain it to me, then. Don't explain it to me. But what will be unleashed if you give give me this knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I'm th I'm thinking largely in terms of like if a film theory were to come out with it, right? Let's like, say let's say I there's just, no film theory. Let's like take the film theory off the table. The, the knowledge, like you having that knowledge, feels so cursed in my brain. Okay. Like it feels like I'm ruining you. Okay. In a way that like I can't justify. Is it, I mean, are are you crossing into Rule Thirty Four stuff now, or what? I no, I mean, some might, but like sure, no. I would assume I would assume so. Like that's just the oh, internet, God. right? That's that's so normal. Um, it's so normal. Like, I can definitely so right. picture all sorts of Rule 34 about the weird clock face man. Uh, I probably. I, I have no Hold doubt. On. Hold on. <laughs> Screw it. I hate this town and everything it stands for. Define Tumblr sexy man. I Don't ask blame me if it's wrong. I could ask Tumblr. I could ask ChatGPT. Maybe the, maybe the AI will feel more comfortable with its, its emotions and feelings in defining this for me. Actually, now I'm curious what ChatGPT does say about what is the Tumblr. I am actually kind of curious what ChatGPT says. Okay, fine. Okay, I pulled up ChatGPT. You oh, you pulled up your thing. I'm curious what they're gonna say. Okay, define Tumblr sexy man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Term Tumblr sexy man does not have a universally defined meaning as it can be subjective and dependent on individual preference. However, given the context of the term Tumblr, it is likely referring to the social media platform Tumblr, 
which was popular for its diverse user base and various content, including adult and not safe for work content. That is, wow. wow. That, is, that is what the that is AI has learned. That is a scandalous way to define Tumblr. Right? I was going to say, that is what the AI has learned about Tumblr. Like when you, that's... Good. Preserve him. Wow. In this context, a Tumblr sexy man could refer to a man or a male identified individual who is uh, considered attractive or appealing in the context of content typically shared or appreciated on Tumblr. This is not helping. It could include individuals with diverse body types. Style. Apparently not, though. They have to be tall and lanky. And colorful they don't have and have to be tall and lanky. It's just a big part of the formula. The styles, criteria. interests that resonate with the Tumblr community. Keep in mind that beauty and attractiveness are subjective, <laughs> and different people may have different preferences when it comes to consider as sexy. Okay, that right. did not help me. That so, did not. That is not the response that I expected to prompt the reaction that Ash had. So, uh, I just the discourse is what really gets it. How so bad ad, ad, ad could it be, Ash? How bad could it possibly be? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is from Urban Dictionary, and this was posted by Poopy Turd One. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm glad I'm getting my information from an AI language learning module that's like wrong 75% of the time. And Poopy, what it was, excuse me, what was the username? I want to make sure I get it right. Yeah, of course. Poopy turd one. Poopy turd one. Okay, good. Right. Don't, don't trust poopy turd. Don't, accept no other poopy turds. The original. We're talking about the original, but it's oh, not really gee. the original because otherwise it would be poopy turd. So poopy turd one is like the one after the original. Right. Yes, okay. So a male character who goes viral on Tumblr for perceived attractiveness based on an established formula. Okay, formula. I like form. Again, I like formulas, Ash. I, I, I like equations. I like formulas. Okay. Usually white, tall, okay. dresses fancy, and is evil, or and is has evil. a dark oh, good side. Okay, yeah. So you know that, like, morally dubious type. Morally really. dubious, I like that, okay. Yeah. Though the character can be non-human or non-human and anthropoid to fit the said formula. Most of the time, said character isn't really as attractive as Tumblr weirdly makes him out to be. <laughs> Example, <laughs> Sans is- Wow, I love that the Urban Dictionary <laughs> In the Urban Dictionary definition is sh not even low-key shading, just outright shading the Tumblr community about this. Oh, but no. it's right. Oh, They're wow. Right. Is, is that right? Okay. Yes. Example, Sans, Sans is literally is just man. a magic skeleton. Yeah. I have no idea how he turned into a Tumblr sexy man. Okay. But we're talking about that. Yeah, Sans and Papyrus are big sexy men. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's about the vibe. It's okay. about, you know, non-human, but I, Anthrophite is a cool, is a... Not cool, but like it's it's a, it's a good it's a good anthropomorphite. Yeah, anthropomorphite. It's it's called it says anthropied. 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 Is that a real word? To fit said formula. Yeah. Of like, has like an evil dark side, but maybe a little silly guy. Okay. You know, um, that's like the base of it. Um, but that wasn't so bad. I. It's the discourse. It's the discourse around it. It's the way that it's spoken about that is. First, I like purple guy is a Tumblr sexy man, right? Yes. <laughs> Base. I, I mean, at purple this purple guy, but also the way that they drew William Afton. Yeah, well, correct. Yeah. They made him into like this, like very skinny dude with like very high cheekbones. Right. Yeah. Right. A little bit like disheveled yes. in terms of the hair. Uh -huh. Um. But yeah, he was a big. He was. I, I won't say he was a big, I, I, I don't know enough about that. Do you see what weird position this puts me in? I don't know. You're just an arbiter of facts. I, I, I facts. The, 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 the question is, is purple guy a sexy man? And the answer is, yeah. Sure. Sure. And, yeah. and, and certain illustrations of him personify him more as a sexy man than others. That makes sense. You don't right. have to be awkward about it. It's okay. Right. Sorry, was this, was this bad? I, no, I think this is fine. I think, if anything, your innocence about it. Um, I'm just is healing again. It's it's one of the, I'm just fascinated to like that is I don't I don't know if the internet understands this about me at this like, ten years twelve years into doing this I'm I'm just interested in learning stuff right and and yeah. to me Tumblr in a lot of cases was a was a black box that uh -huh. occasionally I would step into a hornet's nest and those things would live on to haunt me to this very day right maybe he's on the sexypedia the sexypedia uh huh that is what now. It is a fandom page where they're like, the, it's the collection here's where all them. the sexy men live. Great. Awesome. Who won the latest sexy men poll? Right? Because um, there's a tournament over every year, right? 
Uh, uh-huh. Yep. Uh, there was, I think, Sans one, the last one, which thought- coincided with the passing of Queen Elizabeth. That's right. I did see that circulating on Twitter. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, so they do this bracket. It's like basically March Madness for sexy men, right? And yes. it ultimately <laughs> boiled down. And yeah, that's right. I, Sans, I thought, ended up... It was Sans versus... Reagan. Yeah, that's right. And then Sans ended up winning. Yep. Yeah. That's right. I saw that. I saw that circulating. And yeah, it was the same day as Queen Elizabeth's passing, which is a weird, you know, weird merging of events there. I feel like that this isn't the first time that, like, sexy men and the royal family have done something major on one date. It's true. I... No, See, again, this is... The, I'm this not... Is, Maybe it's not the royal family. It might just be like important political, political figures. W- geopolitical but events I, happening. My spidey senses are telling me this is not a first. Spider Man. Sexy man. No? Too traditional? I he might be too traditional. I, feel, I was gonna say he feels border like, like he feels Parker a bit too is mainstream. More agreeable. Well, I was gonna say yeah. Peter Parker, yes. Spider Man, no. <laughs> I love this. Hey, let's learn. Let's learn more about chicken nugget lore, shall we? <laughs> so this guy definitely a Tumblr sexy man. Okay, Tumblr sexy man. Okay. <gasps> so that means we got all the time in the world. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, no! Your clock's ticking every day. Howdy, hey! Oh, it's you, Bezel. Immortals. Immortals. This is probably in, buried in some of the in, in somewhere. In, like I don't know if that is the first instance of them being called immortals or whatever. You know, bunnies for whatever reason often associated with demonic rituals, and I don't know what the history of that is. So it's interesting that these two are the immortals. I would assume that they're associated with demons. Then. <gasps> Daddy time. Don't call me that. Daddy I'm time. Not mortals again. Well, there's nothing disastrous you can do while I'm around watching over these guys. Who said anything about disaster? I'm just here to have some fun. I don't think he's here to have fun. I don't believe him. Also, worth it's noting, definition. they're called immortals, right? But in the first one, where the bu- it was the bunny that wanted scritch, who wanted scritches? Bunny. It was the bunny, right? Scritchies. Scritchies. The bunny wanted scritchies, but the demon says, mortal, what is your wish, mortal? So, at some point in this lore, the bunny switched from being mortal to immortal. Unless, the, unless these are just named immortals, but they're actually mortal. Or the demon just wasn't familiar with the bunny. Or it was too early in the lore that they hadn't solidified things. It's possible. Ugh, I'm gonna need ibuprofen. Are you into open relationships? <laughs> I don't want Bezel to mess things up concerning our current mission. Secret missions. He won't. Plus, I think we could easily overpower him if we had to. He has dominion over all of time. If anything, he could overpower us. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love he it. He gets real flustered when you <laughs> mess with him, <laughs> which is my specialty. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fine. We got a power Why dynamic brute. Bend in more. Conform. Fine. Happy. What are you even here for, anyhow? I think you and I both know. Tumblr sexy men fan content? Is that, is that the correct answer? Yes. Right? This is appealing to a, to a demographic. <laughs> you, you are here to fit a quota. Yes. Tumblr's gonna love you. <laughs> They're gonna love you, and they're gonna make all the fan art of you. And then ChatGPT is gonna completely misread that and spit it back as an adult-oriented, not safe for work website. You're gonna be a onesla. You're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you kid, you're gonna be a onesla. <laughs> they're gonna love you. All the fan accounts are gonna love you. All the watt pads are gonna light up with bezel. <laughs> Shipping you with bezel. Bezel and sands shipped together. You'll be bands. 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 Or Benz. Or. Like a Mercedes Benz. Benz. Yeah, Benz. Oh, man. Uh huh, right? Yeah. Except the cheaper version because it's B E N S instead of B E N Z. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The discount version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You're not the only one who's keeping an eye on the strange occurrences surrounding that puppy. You know what? Oh, that is lore. That is our. That is lore. That is some serious setup for mystery. Who's here, right? Yeah. I just thought we did everything right. We did do everything right. Huh. He's wrong. We both learned recruiting him to our sides won't work. He'll warp our realms beyond recognition. Huh. Too much chaos. The way he's warped this one isn't too bad, though. I think we're safe. He still doesn't know. He's a god. What? Oh, oh big drop. Lore dropped. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Chicken Nugget, our little little cute, cutie boy, is a god? Huh. Recruiting them to our sides. Are there more than one side? Is more than one side re represented here? Is one, like, good and one evil, then? Or are they... Because it said recruiting him to our sides won't work. He's and there's... Wrong. We both learned recruiting him to our sides... To our sides. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Kind of, kind of some big lore drops there. I think we're safe. He still doesn't know. He's a god. He's a god! Okay. So, that's, that's kind of a big deal. I don't know what it means, but uh, let's keep going. We got Chi. Uh, shame I can't try to convince him to join the Dark Forces. He'd be so good at it. Do we? <laughs> 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 He'd be so good at it. <laughs> <Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. laughs> That's amazing. N little noodle neck. Is this funny animation or is or do we think Chicken Nugget is actually doing this? Does Chicken Nugget have the ability to transform like this? Or is this just like cartoon shenanigans? I believe in Chicken Nugget's power. I do too, actually. I, I think it's I think it's legit. Especially as we're piecing the idea of like it being a god. Yes. You know, as Chicken Nugget is a god and has powers or whatever, the fact that, like, normally I would see this in a short or a cartoon or something, I'd be like, oh, it's just, like, a cartoon thing. Like in, um, kind of like Adventure Time, right? Like, a lot of times they're, like, absorbing, like, they they take on weird shapes or or contort their bodies in weird ways or they grow and stretch and whatever. And that's just the art style, right? That's just how the characters are drawn. That's how this world operates. Sometimes, like, they're doing physical manipulation of the space around them, but then sometimes it's, it's literally just like, this is just a weird art decision. Um, this, though, feels realistic to me. Like, this feels like uh, that, that Chicken Nugget is able to, to move in these ways. Like a body transformer. Hold up. He'd be so good at it. Can't do that French fly. So French fly, French fly, the the goat, right? It's a goat, right? It's a, I think it's a dragon. Is it a dragon? Yeah. I know we initially said it was goat. He's a furry dragon. Dragons can be soft. I think it's a very cruel stereotype I don't, I don't think that they, all I, dragons are. Scaly. I don't think they can be. I, I challenge that. What? I I feel like dragons by requisite have to be. Scaly, right? I a scaly not, dragon. Not always, maybe the dragons that we've seen. Name, <laughs> yes, all the dragons that we've seen. Name me a dragon that is fuzzy. French fly. Name me a dragon that is not French fly to help prove your point. That's right. I am a grown thirty-six-year-old man <laughs> talking about French fly, the dragon <laughs> or goat. Well, French fly. There's a there's a Webkins, I think, that was a dragon and was soft. There's a really? fluffy. Yeah, hold up. Hold okay, up. pull pull it up. Challenge. 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 Uh, dragon webkin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a stuffed animal. I, it's Ash. a dragon. It's a stuffed animal dragon though. That's not what the character is naturally. Well, Here. if you look at the online avatar version, okay. Here, hold up. Hold hold up. Hold your phone. Here. You're saying webkins. Hold up. Web. Webkin's dragon. So this is, for those of you who can't see what's going on over in the corner here, this is what Ash has pulled up and said, this is proof of their, this, this 
<laughs> that is a stuffed animal. Your point is invalid, it's Ash. Soft. It could have been scaly and reflective, but they chose fluff. Look, Figment the dragon is a dragon with scales, but when I had him and have him upstairs, actually, he was a soft stuffed animal. Whereas, well, there can be variants. Look, look so they didn't translate the scales into the, the toy model, Ash. Exactly, because he's not scaly. Figment? Boom. What do you... He's smooth. He's smooth and reptilian. Well, because he's well-groomed. <laughs> smooth and reptilian. But they translated his skin into a soft, plush texture because he is a stuffed animal. Or it can be representative <laughs> of the fact that not all dragons have to be scaly. Here, furry dragons. Point, I want one other oh example. Oh Give God. me one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I realized what I've done. I have done a horrible thing. <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh, we started God. with, oh no, we started <laughs> with sexy men, and now we've evolved into <laughs> Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 so many mistakes have been made today. So many mistakes. <laughs> looks like oh no oh, oh my god <laughs> well um, i mean you could change it to fluffy no you know i think i'm just gonna move away from the google search i mean for there now. were some fluffy dragons in there there were, there were a lot of there were a lot of things in our search results ash <laughs> a lot of things dragons and skimpy bikinis dragons <laughs> <laughs> with all sorts of body parts that I wouldn't normally associate dragons having. I like, I hate that I have to squint at this because I need to figure out if there's anything that needs to be censored. Oh, you will have to look close. But I don't think there's anything that needs to be censored. I don't think censored. there's anything. We have Google Safe Search on. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, don't worry. Perfect. <laughs> Google AI is making sure that we don't have any, you know, <laughs> too exposed dragons. Mm, right. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, what a mess. What? Wow, Matt. <laughs> I walked right into that one. I, you skipped into it almost. I did. It was graceful. Oh, fuzzy dragons. Oh, they're cute. But none of them are, I mean, yes, there are some cute ones. And I, I don't disagree that there is a possibility of fuzzy dragons. But when it comes to, like, established dragons in pop culture. It's just the most popular subtype. Hold up. Is, is, it's is, a recessive gene, Matthew. Is there is there is there something stupid that we could have done this entire time to prove this? In the character select, did French Fry have a species? Did French Fry have a species or no? Yeah, I think so. See now now I'm questioning everything that I thought I knew. <laughs> also disagree that blue is the best flavor of those uh, otter pops. Just saying. What? Blue is not the best flavor of those otter pops. In fact, I feel like blue is a lower tier flavor <gasps> of the otter pops. A little My bit too gosh. strong. A little bit too strong. Hot take. I know. I know. I'm just throwing out I... all the controversial opinions today. Wow. What would you say? Blue? Number yeah, one? All really? the way. Really? All the way. No. Just hard, hard pass. Well, what's your, what's your pick? I mean, I'm always partial to grape, but I recognize that that's controversial. Ugh. Red or green when it comes to Otter Pops, super solid. Okay. Green is fair. Green. Green is fair. Not red? Nah. Okay. It's fine. Fine. Great. <laughs> of course. I of, think we overwhelmed. I think. I our think so connection. too. I think. I, okay. What is quench fly? Species. Quench fly. Bunny? Question mark. Fox. Slushy. Dre. Boom. B O O M. The wagon. Quench <laughs> fly the wagon. I stand corrected. Booyah. Yeah, all right. All right. He's, and and he's, now he's you know dragon. now dragon. you know a key aspect of new dragons. They can be fuzzy. fuzzy. They can be fuzzy. Or furry. I 
Well, there's been furry dragons oh. for a bit, as we've as, seen. As, as I've seen, <laughs> and as I learned very quickly, plenty of furry dragons out there. There's let's, a let's lot put of it furry dragons. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Okay, here, hold up. Where are we at? French fly. Okay, so we can't do this to French fly. Okay, so we talked about French fly the dragon, so clearly. Uh, I can't do that to French fly. So what would that be doing to French fly? If, if, if I scream, the rabbit, the demonic rabbit thing, enlisted chicken nugget to the dark side, why would that be bad for French fly? Is French fry symbolic of good? I mean, but... Is that good versus evil? Because we were talking <clears throat> about how there's sides, like good and evil sides, maybe? To our sides, I think Ice Cream said. Hmm. Right? See... To our sides, but he's a god. He's a... I think we're too bad, though. Too much chaos. To our sides, won't do everything. To our sides. He's wrong. Our sides, like... Like, are they different sides? That's, that's the question I keep asking. Are yeah. they different sides? Because it, it would be to our side... If they were working together, but to its our sides implies that they're two separate, like they're working for two separate factions. But also kind of together? I mean, you can still be friends. Because to our sides. I don't know, it could be like, you know how in a lot of media there's always like the friendly rivalry between like the, the like angel and the devil or something. Like a lot, some, some media will have that like, oh, I'm going to one up you or I'm, hey, let's compete for that guy's soul over there. And um, sure, yeah. Yeah. Like, like our recent FNAF theory that came out at some point. Mm -hmm relative to when this video comes out. I don't know when that one came out relative to this, but yeah. it's about, you know, them fighting over Gregory's soul. And I could see like, you know, Puppet and Glitchtrap being like, oh, I'm going to win Gregory over to my side. Or, oh, I'm going to win him over to my side. And that becomes like a battle of good, good versus evil, you know? Yeah. So, Maybe they should just play rock, paper, scissors. I mean, they could, but then you have no dramatic tension, no rise, no fall, I, no you, won't. I You have not played rock, paper, scissors with the same level of stress and high stakes that I have played Rock, Paper, Scissors. I played a million scissors. dollar game of Rock, Paper, Scissors for Mr. Beast live in front of a million people. Then you should know better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it, was it, I think it was $500,000 game of, of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Mm. Yeah, something like that. So the stakes could have been higher. Yeah, you know, yeah, pretty <laughs> mid, honestly. Yeah, yeah you know, whatevs. Yeah. Uh, okay, so our sides. He couldn't do that to French fry. So maybe it is some sort of like friendly competition between them for, uh, for Chicken Nuggets loyalty. I don't know. Awesome. So basically what we're learning is lore. Like lore is anytime he shows up. Wow. Cool Great. boy you got here. Hello. Oh man, it's a hyperbolic time chamber. More fun this way instead of all those complicated, boring, defined spaces, huh? Um, yeah. I guess it is kind of neat. Yes, it is. Hmm. Keep up the weirdness, my friend. I guess I kind of never really noticed it. Huh. Uh-oh. Becoming I aware. Have a Becoming aware! <laughs> yes? Are you evil? No, I'm chaotic. Big difference. That's that is fair. I'm not. Oh yes, you are. More than you'll ever know. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> I don't know. There, it's the alignment chart, right? You could have chaotic good, chaotic neutral, and chaotic evil. Yeah. I like to consider myself chaotic good. I think that's fair. Is that fair? Yeah. That sounds right. Or am I chaotic neutral? I think I'm chaotic for sure because I don't hold loyalties to anything. Certainly. 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 I mean, I don't think that anyone who's a lawful would stand at like 2 a.m. in their closet recording VO about whether or not Blue's Clues, Blue from Blue's Clues. Blue's from Blue's Clues, yeah. Yeah, is actually, you know, not an, of an, this realm. An alien life form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's a weird thing to walk into the office and experience. <laughs> no neutral or lawful boss would ever do that. Is that true? I think so. Okay. Do you not think so? I don't know. I See, I again, I approach this to me. I'm like, ah, anything's fair. I'm open to anything. Whatever. Is that chaotic of me? Sure. Yeah. Which is funny because I'm probably like one of the most like lawful straight by the numbers people out there too. Yeah. But I'm also, yeah, I guess I am chaotic. Because like when I was an RA, for instance, 
I, uh, you know, I took my freshman to the bar before it like started serving alcohol at night. Uh But I took him to the bar (laughs) because I knew that all freshmen ended up at this bar. It was the one that was off campus. And I knew that they all go, like it is a rite of passage for pretty much all freshmen, right? Yeah. And I saw and heard so many stories of people going there, getting lost, having bad times, being confused about how to get back, things like that. Mm -hmm. And so me as chaotic good, chaotic neutral, I don't know. I'm like, I, as an RA, feel like it's my responsibility to inform them. Like, this is a thing that, this is a thing that they will be presented with. Here it is. So, you know, here's how you get back. And, you know, do I advise this? No, not necessarily. But do I recognize that this is probably a thing that many of you will do? Yes. So let me, you know, help equip you with knowledge so that you're doing it in the safest way possible. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Though the statement of... When I was an RA, I, I took my freshman to the bar is yeah, a chaotic statement yeah, I mean, in there was, itself. Yeah, that, that is a chaotic statement. And I, I recognize that without context, that probably, <laughs> you know, awful. no drinks were had. It was like three in the afternoon. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was not like, oh, I took him to the bar when it was popping. We were the only ones there. It had just opened. Maybe it was even like noon or something. It had just opened. Alcoholic <laughs> drinks were not being served. Nothing was, con- it was literally just like a tour, like a guided tour yeah. of like how to be safe. I don't know. Does that tell you what? <laughs> I thought it was a great idea. Tell you didn't appreciate it. Residents Life Housing Services. Mm. <laughs> they hey, have yo. a lot of talks with me about that one. Yeah, I'm sure. And me as the chaotic guy didn't under I'm like, why is this I feel like this was a good I all our race should be doing this, I feel like. <laughs> instead of turning a blind eye to the thing that is literally happening. I mean Because that's what they yeah. all did, you know, like, oh we all knew it. I'm just, I just acknowledged it and was like, well, here, I want to make sure that you guys stay safe. Let yeah, me, let like, me advise you to not, but. Yeah. Or, I mean, the alternative is like once every three months, they order Papa John's, put it in the lounge, don't tell anyone except for like two days before. And then maybe two people go get the Oh, Papa I was, Johns. I was a hardcore RA, man. Like, yeah. Every Friday we had the jazz club called the Crevasse. And, oh, yeah, La Crevasse. Told, yeah, I've told you about La Crevasse. I love La Crevasse. Where things were firm, but gentle. Um, but yeah, we played all sorts of games and stuff. It was fun. It was it was great. And it was a great alternative for anyone who wanted to go there. But I also recognized not every freshman wants to hang out with their RA on campus in the dorms all the time. I mean, many did. Don't get me wrong. And I did some awesome, like, epic milkshake runs where I got milkshakes for literally everyone finals week. And it was, oh, like, slay. all the flavors from cookout. <laughs> and then there was, like, one... <laughs> Man, it's so funny looking back at my life. I'm like, oh, I see now how I wound up as like YouTube guy. Because <laughs> one of the milkshakes in there was like a, a bunch of random flavors all mixed together that didn't go well. But that was like the one, right? Oh. And, it, you know, it was a random pull. And we knew who, which one it was. So that as soon as they got it, they tried it. And then we were like, hey, here's a good one. And they got a prize and stuff. Like nice. it, was, it was, they were sweet with the sour or whatever. But yeah. Anyway, was that wrong of me, Ash? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm using this as an opportunity to, to ther- therapize myself. You know, I think with that proper context, it wasn't wrong. Mm, um, I think we just need to practice the lead-in. Sure. Um, I mean, sometimes you're Google searching innocently for furry dragons, and you stumble into places that you don't expect. Yeah, or you learn about the sexypedia, <laughs> and you're <laughs> looking into... <laughs> you're watching some animated series trying to discover its lore, in anticipation for a future theory, and you just open up a Pandora's box of sexy men. Uh, yeah. So. And there a you box go. of sexy men. A bo- yeah. Sometimes you just wind up in a box of sexy men. And it's it's a hard box to close. <laughs> it is a hard <laughs> box to close. So I am I uh, so anyway I'm chaotic of some alignment I don't know where would you where would you classify yourself Ash? I don't know. Um. I feel like the comments are gonna. Oh, the comments will like ab- chaotic. Oh, the, the comments will absolutely let us know where we align. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think you are most assuredly chaotic. Oh, for sure, for sure. Are you good or neutral? That, I don't that think is you're the evil. question. I don't think I'm evil. No, certainly not. Uh, you know, I think I've been a little sassy. Ooh, chaotic a couple, sassy. A, a chaotic that's, sassy. That's, that's a whole separate part of the Venn diagram here. The alignment chart. We've added a new column. Yeah, Venn sassy. The border is a little thicker, but it's still there. Lawful sassy. <laughs> Neutral sassy. 
chaotic sassy. <laughs> Although I've been a little sassy in the past few episodes. A little spectacular. So maybe maybe that bumps spice. me down the chaotic neutral. I don't know. Okay, neutral. What I'll do you think? It. I think you are. I think you're chaotic good too. Oh well, thank you, Matt. Yeah, of course. I, I try my best. I but... feel like most of us here try to be good. Yeah. You know? I don't know if y'all could hear the plump oh, on my shirt. I could, I could hear it, so. All right, next. Yeah, okay. Adorable kitty cat. You're Gee. my favorite by Chicken Nugget, aren't you? Oh, yeah. He's my best friend. Really? Well, doesn't he frighten you? Every day. You fear <laughs> That's fair. Fear and love very closely tied. Him, don't you? Oh, my gosh. No. He's the sweetest. No reason to be actually afraid. I'm sorry. This whole time, I really want the pickle. Like, I, I, I like the character design a lot. <laughs> I love the, <laughs> I love the fact that's wearing a cheeseburger hat. <laughs> but the pickle, I just want that pickle so bad. That's sus, Matt. Wanting the pickle? <laughs> yes. Is it sus to want a pickle? <laughs> I was gonna say, tell me about your your affinity or lack thereof for pickles. If it's on a fried chicken sandwich, I will eat the pickle. Okay. If it is fried just right, I will eat the pickle. Okay. Any other situation? <laughs> All other pickles are best. I will not eat the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So no preference towards dill pickle or sweet pickle? Oh, I don't like dill. I'd opt for the sweet. Get out of here with your sweet pickles. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't know if I've had you a sweet pickle. You are chaotic evil now. Now you are. I, I assume it's just a pickle that's sweeter. It's no. Oh, it is. What? It's a fundamentally different flavor. What? It's a completely different beast. Well, then that's just lying. Yeah. It's. You would think that there'd be more of a relation between the dill pickle and the sweet pickle. They're, they're branching timelines. I'm not a big fan of sweet pickles. I do like uh, relish, though, which is sweet pickle. Mm. Anyway, uh, on hot dog. Anyway, oh, okay. let's move on. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah. just have relish. Like, you're not just eating <laughs> relish. <laughs> Just a little spoon. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> tasty. <laughs> Love my relish. <laughs> mm, relish. Oh my god. Oh man, I hope the next time we do a live in-person event, probably VidCon, people just bring us relish. Oh, yeah. Just jars of relish. Yep. Be like, thanks guys, I appreciate it. I have more relish than I know what to do with for the rest of my life. Theorist relish. Theorist relish! You know what? I relish the time I spend with you, Ash. Aw, thanks, Matt. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> the thing the clock guy said about empty voids. Oh, we're going back to the empty voids. Starting to freak me out. Wait, do I even have a house? <laughs> what? Sometimes it feels like I'm just. Puppet on a stage. Oh, uh oh, we got some frame perfect stuff. Available for whatever shenanigans happen next. Oh man, existential crisis. What's happening? Oh, it's getting meta. I definitely saw an What's animator in there. Next? Okay, so clown Puppet on a stage. On... Puppet on a stage. Okay. Puppet on a stage. Available for whatever shenanigans okay, happen next. Oh yeah, animator. Huh! Oh man! Oh, we're getting real existential here. Breaking the fourth wall. What's happening? Hmm. You're becoming self aware. Hi, Cecil here. Embodiment of time. Yeah, I know. Big deal. Did you know the end of the world is coming? Long ago. Long ago. Into the fabric of the universe itself. That state is that a demi cup. That was weird. Etched into the fabric of the universe itself. His voice like drops in some way. Makes me think that there is like this is a persona or there, there might be someone else behind all of this. That a demigod would descend to Earth. Demigod. His destiny warp it beyond recognition to his own selfish desire. Huh. So this is Chicken Nugget. We're gradually approaching this culmination. So Chicken Nugget is a demigod. So not just a god, a demigod. So half god that descends down to Earth. To warp it to their selfish desires. Hmm. Interesting. You're adjusting things, which makes me think you want to say something, but maybe that's me completely misinterpreting what's yeah, going on over in the corner. You, you misread that entirely. Sorry, I apologize. No, then. no, it's fine. I, it's ignore fine. me completely. Just sometimes when you're thoughtful, you're a little bit quieter. No, it's true. I am thoughtful right now. Then we got slushy and sodi pop. 
adorable. Oh, we got the lore! So, does it mean that all of them... Is this just like the family photo? And that's how the lore ends? Or is it they all have to be present to make this happen? Interesting. Interesting! So much lore! <laughs> Iden animations. This turn from animals having a relatable life to really deep lore. That's it. I was gonna say, ever since Bezel was added to the cast, the lore has been acknowledged and it's been growing. Chicken Nugget just went from wholesome bunch of characters playing around to an ocean of hot boiling tea drama lore. Oh my. It's incredible. Time, time started ticking. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say is it seems like it's interesting that the embodiment of time who you would think is like a godlike character in this universe, right, is the thing that is pushing the lore forward in a lot of ways and is the one kind of like taking advantage of it. Yeah, he seems like he is the chaotic evil, right? He is willfully manipulating things to go in a... Or is he... No, he seems evil. Where he's kind of willfully manipulating things to go in like a the chaotic, dark direction towards a negative skew. Um, and it seems like the other two are kind of competing for the lore, or for the, the loyalty of Chicken Nugget. I feel like a puppet on a stage. That's the power of warping reality flashing without him knowing. That's why he says what's happening. Huh, interesting. Bezel giving chaotic warnings without actually telling anyone is the best. Cha is he chaotic neutral? Bezel? I think that's the question. I could see it. I could see it. The way he talks and the way he behaves makes me think he's evil just because he has got, he reminds me a lot of like the Bill Cyphers of the world. Yeah. Where he's like, oh, I'm gonna do something crazy and I'm gonna destroy everything. Which obviously he, that guy is uh, the chaotic evil, but I could also, he hasn't done anything explicitly evil. He's not like pushing anything in any specific direction. So he mm -hmm. does seem neutral. Right. See? And how bad could he possibly be? How bad? Uh, uh, uh. Could he be? <laughs> <laughs> as long as he stays away from my trees, mm. and as long as he protects the environment, that's all that matters. Yeah, but mm -hmm. he's just building the economy. <laughs> just building the economy! <laughs> as long as he's not voiced by a former actor from The Office, Andy Dwyer. Oh. Did you not know that? No! Oh yeah, add that to your internal lore. That he is that it's voiced by Andy Dwyer from The Office. Andy Dwyer, right? That's his name. Let me double check. Let me double check. Who who voiced him? What, wait, Andy. Who am I thinking of? Chris Pratt. No, no, no. Who am I? Uh, <laughs> shoot, I haven't watched The Office in a long time. Who am I thinking of? I'm so wrong. Different show. I know. Shoot, now I'm. Yeah, Dwight? I love that Dwight Schrute is like number one. Andy, Andy Bernard, oh. not Andy Dwyer. See, I was oh. close. Ed Helms and Ed Helms. Oh my gosh. Is the one slur. There he is. Ed Helms here. And you know, I remember reading the Dr. Seuss book, The Lorax, when I was much younger. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's amazing. I love it so much. But yeah, Ed Helms, Andy. <laughs> Bernard, there it is, Andy Bernard. <laughs> Not to be confused, it was Chris Pratt, wouldn't that be amazing? If the one slur was Chris Pratt, that would just be the darkest of all timelines. I would leave, right? I'd go straight back into your brain. That's a, that's a question, has, has Chris Pratt voiced, Chris Pratt has played many a role at this point, has he voiced a Tumblr sexy man? Oh, or has he God. been a Tumblr sexy man himself? I, I don't think he's one. He's not one himself. Um, I, I could see a world where... Let's see. I feel like in the early phases of Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. there was some Tumblr-esque... <laughs> Is Chris Pratt a Tumblr sexy man? Um, I figured I might as well just ask the question, see what the AI tells me. Yeah. Jack Black! But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Like, I do feel like early, like st early Star-Lord 
might hit I was that gonna criteria. say, I feel like Star-Lord is close. Like, Star-Lord would hit that criteria. Yeah. I feel like more so in the beginning. Yeah, sure. Um, I feel like Tumblr is not a big fan of Chris Pratt right now. No, sure, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just going out on a limb I, here. I don't think that's going on on too far of a limb, but yeah, yeah sure. I, I don't know, but... Sexy man Chris Pratt. <laughs> um, Christopher Pratt, Holmes, sexy, man-thing Marvel. I mean, you know. <laughs> what have we done? Oh god. Oh, what have we done? This is the darkest. This, this is the darkest, is the darkest timeline. This is the darkest episode we've done. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, <laughs> there you have it. Chicken nugget lore <sighs> replete with gods and demons and satanic rituals and sexy men abound. Chaotic goods, chaotic neutrals, chaotic evils, and just a chaotic episode of GT Not Live. What have we learned here today about Chicken Nugget? Not a whole lot, and that just that I have to watch myself a lot of YouTube shorts about this franchise, about this series. I'm excited about it, but I gotta watch a lot more of it. Uh, but what have we learned here about Tumblr and culture and about our respective personas? A lot. A lot. We've, we've learned a lot. We've come a long way. We've seen some stuff. And uh, I hope, I hope that you come back next episode. I don't blame you if you don't. But you know what? I guarantee next episode will probably have 100% less sexy man talk. Probably. So anyway, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. <laughs> and all of us. Help us all.